Alright, it's uh, Temujin here from SL Connie's. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day today. Um, today I'll be showing you the new community storage cabinet. Uh, so it's a bit like the storage chest uh, that was released not too long ago, uh, where you can store your excess items into a storage uh, chest to relieve you of uh, your limit of 50 um, stacks of items. The community chest <coughs> is a bit different in that it allows your community members to share access of what's inside that chest. Um, you can set um, access permissions by group and name and so on and so on. So I'll show you how it all works and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll answer them uh, in time. So we'll res out the community chest. <clears throat> so it actually does look like a, a chest. And uh, you'll see here it has the name of the chest up the top, SL Community Storage Cabinet. If you left click it, um, you'll be able to rename it um, to whatever you want to call it. So Community Storage, I'll call this one. Right, so you see it's a uh, change of name. You can store up to 50 inventory slots in this. So uh, you just left click it and you can stash an item. Let's say uh, I want to add some arrows. Let's add 10 of those. I'm going to add some more items. Let's do some barley. 10 of those. Right, so I've used two slots. Um, what else you can do, you can view your inventory. If you click view inventory, you'll open a web page, which basically looks like this page here. I'll um, show you guys. So you go to the website, go to my storage, and you'll see all your different storages that you own. The more you res, the more your list will uh, populate. So here I've got the community storage that I've named. If I click on view inventory, you'll see what I've stashed uh, before. If I then remove items, um, let's go retrieve an item. Hang on, I think it just paused there. Let's try again, retrieve an item. Let's retrieve my arrows. Let's take all 10 back out. So the only thing that should be left in there is uh, barley if I refresh this web browser. Have a look. Let's just refresh this page. Now mind you, this browser I'm using is a uh, uh, mobile uh, version. So it looks different to what you will see. See, we've got 10 barley left. All right, I can re remove the other items. Let's take all 10 out. Now, when I said this was a community chest, I meant that other players are able to uh, go in here and also stash and retrieve items. It's uh, available to everyone. Uh, so, for example, they will left click, you will left click as the owner, and you can you get a security menu here. You can add a user, type in their UUID. So, if you've got their UUID, which you can get from their profile using Firestorm right here, copy that and paste that into here. So, it says that I've been added into this chest as my other character. You can also add groups. You need the UUID of the group, which you get from the groups windows as well. That's over here, group key. Paste it into there. And it's been added. So everyone from the SL Colonies group will be able to stash and retrieve items from this storage crate or cabinet. Um, you can add multiple groups. Um, you can remove people and remove groups as well. I can remove SL colonies, there we go. And then I can remove 
the person as well. So that's basically how it works. Um, you can have multiple of them. Uh, for example, if you wanted to have this storage uh, for food, for example. And actually, let's see if you can have special characters and stuff in your item name. No, it doesn't like it too much. It doesn't like those. It might be special characters to make it um, go into an an enter or whatever, but anyway, play around with it. So you can have multiple, you can have one for food, you can have one for drinks, one for tools, one for, you know, metals and ores or raw materials and stuff, and just sort of shorts, um, have a building for your community storage and things. So let us know what you think in the comments below, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed, and wishing you all the best.